Yes, 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 yes. Baron Bolshevist here, and uh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what am I watching this video for? Well, today we're going to learn how to cut a piece of glass. You see, piece of glass, and that's what this video is all about. You see, now, now I don't. I'm not very good at cutting glass. I'm not very good at anything really. But um, uh, my friend, my friend and, and uh, colleague. He's a he's a he's a builder, you see, and he's shown me how to cut glass so I can show you, you see. I said to him, Well, why don't you show them how to cut the glass? And he said, Well, I don't want to make myself a bloody fool on on the interweb, you see. So um he said, But uh, Baron, you're a bloody fool anyway, so it doesn't make any difference, you see. So I thought, well, he's got probably got a point there, you see. So here I am, and and he's shown me how to do this. And so I'm going to show you how to do it, you see. Now, and you'll say, well, I don't really want to cut a piece of glass. You say, yes, but we've got, a, we've got a, 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 another thing behind this, you see, because once you've learned how to cut a piece of glass, then you can make things out of glass, you see. And what we've actually done, we've actually made something that you can make. We probably won't make it in this video, but if I can show you how to cut the glass, then um then then that's the first step and at least you've learned something today and and if you if you've learned if you learn one thing a day then it's, it's you've got to say to yourself well done well done well done i've learned something today you know and when you go to bed tonight you can say well done i have learned one thing today yes and i, I then you can say thank you very much baron for teaching me how to cut a piece of glass now where am i yes well we've got the um we we're at Fartwell Manor, that's where we are, you see. Um, and Lord and Lady Fartwell, they're actually out of the house at the moment. So we've sneaked into the east wing of Fartwell Manor to do this. Nobody knows I'm here at the moment. So if we're disturbed, then um, then obviously I'll have to pretend I'm doing something completely different, okay? Not cutting glass and showing people on the interweb how to cut glass because otherwise it wouldn't be very good um, for, for me to be seen doing this. And please don't, you can send this video to lots of people. I think that's what you say. Um, you can send lots of people, but don't send it to Lord and Lady Fartwell, okay? Because they, um, they probably um, might sort of um, kick me out of the stables, you see, because I'm staying in the stables. They've kindly let me sleep in the um, hayloft above the stables. Um, because of family, because of circumstances, my circumstances are not very good. It's a bit of a mess, really, um, and it's a bit like Ben, Ben, Benjamin the builder, who's shown me how to cut the glass. He's in a bit of a mess, you see, as well. And so we've come up with this plan. You see, we've come up with a plan to um, do these videos to try and, well, to try and help you, but also try and help us. You see. Because if you can help us, then we can make some videos to show you how to do things um, and come up with ideas. And that's what it's all about. All about ideas, you see. So, so, so cutting glass and um, and making things is is the theme of this particular video. But hopefully, there'll be more videos because the first video I made, I didn't have the camera on, so um, that wasn't very good. And hopefully. I've got myself in the shot and everything now, and hopefully we can load this, I can take the, the camera to the library and see Laura, the librarian, and she can show me how to load it onto the interweb, but that's all in the future. So if you're actually watching this video, then you know that that's all been done. Right, now one thing you have to do with the glass cutter is you have to lubricate the, the, the end of the wheel. You've got a little wheel here, I don't know if you can see it. That's a glass cutter. You see, there we are. And you want to put a little bit, I've got some uh, WD-40, and just squirt it with on there like that. And that's, um, that's one good thing. And also, while we were here in the east wing, east wing I needed some water to, um, to demonstrate uh, what we've made. I couldn't actually find any water, you see. So I had a look around it and I found they had a drinks cabinet, you know, um, under one of the dust sheets. So, and I found some, uh, a bit of gin, it was a bit of pink gin. And I, and I thought, well, I lubricate the uh, glass cutter and I can have some lubrication myself. So this is the first video, so cheers, everybody. 
So there we are, both well lubricated now. That's marvellous drop of stuff. Now, what are we going to make? Now, this is this is going to absolutely knock your socks off. Knock your socks off. Now, wait. I, now, I made this myself. Ben did make it. It would have been a lot better if Ben had made it. But I made it in the stable at night. So, made it in the dark. So, it's not that great. But, I, but we'll get the general gist of the thing. So, what we actually have. Now, imagine you have a plant, right? Now, what I've, I picked one of the roses from the plant realm out. I picked one of the roses out. Now, what I'm going to do is imagine that's a plant growing, like a little tender plant. Right, there we are. And you need to protect it from the frost and things. So you need a cloche, you see, you need a cloche to protect it. So, and, and you can make your cloche out of glass. And this is the cloche, you see, this is the cloche. It's basically, it's basically a square box. There you are, you have your cloche like so. And you've made, we've made this little lid to go on it, you see. You see, there you are. So you've got the cloche and you've got the lid. And the marvellous thing about this is, you see, it's got a ventilation hole in the top. But, 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 wait, wait, wait. If you want more ventilation, you can turn the top through 45 degrees and there you have more ventilation. You see, so this is marvellous, you see. But not only that. So this is where we need the old, the pink gin, anyway. We've got the pink gin. Um, we've got to pretend this is water, okay? So what happens is, you see, if you want to, you can turn the top over like so, like so, and there you have a watering system because when when it when you have your watering can or your um, or it rains, you see, you don't have to take the top of the cloche off because what happens is, you see, when you, the rain it trickles down on there and it runs. Can you see that watering watering the roses? Look at that marvelous. Well, it's making a bit of a mess, but never mind. So you've got that, you see. So that's one use for our posh, posh cloche. Yes, it's a posh cloche with many uses. So keep it. But the other thing you can use it for, you can use our posh cloche for, is you can get a candle. You can get a candle, you see, like this, you get a candle. And you can, you can light your candle, you see. See, like so. And then, how about this then? How about this? Here we go. You can have a nice little, uh, little lighthouse thingy to um, to protect your candle from the wind. You see, uh, so it can be outside. And uh, uh, Lady um, Lady Farwell, she's a bit of a sort of one of these um, uh, druidy type people, and she likes frolicking outside at night stark naked not that i would know because when i when i look out the stable window and the hay barn i have to strain my neck and i can't quite see anything but but she would love this because it's candles you see so um lord lord fartwell could actually buy this off of me um and give it to her for her birthday um and also the, the other marvelous thing about this is is what you can do you see you can put this outside and you can see that it's it's the the candles are light you see and the only reason why the candle would go out because it's protective the only reason you turn the lid up the other way you see and what happens is you see if you think well is it raining outside well you see you just a little bit of the old and the candle goes out you see and so you look out there the candle's gone out and you know it's raining so so this this cloche has got multi multi uses you see and hopefully we're going to show you how to make it and um and we're all gonna make lots of lots of money out of it okay so back to the glass cutting back to the glass cutting let's get it out there there a little bit more lubrication don't want to waste it all on, on um, plants and stuff there we are there we are nice nice bit of pink gin you see yes yeah, so better you better not drink too much of that otherwise they make notice uh where are we then what are we what are we doing what are we doing? yes we're cutting the glass so what you need to do is get your piece of glass and you need to measure it from one side to the other wherever you and, and i put a mark if you get a if you get a uh, one of these sort of sharpie type pens these um sort of the indelible markers you can mark the glass where you want it to cut you see top and bottom and then then you get your glass cutter 
and you, you get a straight edge. Now a straight edge is something with a, a straight edge. This is what um, Ben, Ben the builder told me. Oh, it's not Ben, it's Benjamin. Benjamin. Don't call him Ben, okay? Don't call him Ben, because his second name is Ova, you see. And so he doesn't like being called Ben. He just likes being called Benjamin. It's Benjamin, okay, Benjamin, you see. He, his, his building company was called Overbuilders, you see, and um, and I said, well, you know, when I found out about him, he got annoyed with me about calling him Ben. I said, well, if you'd have called yourself Ben Dover Backwards Builders, then you might have got lots of clients, you see. They might have thought it was great, but he's very embarrassed about it, you know, especially when I found out that his middle name was Tim, you see, Ben Tim Over. So he's very, I don't know what his parents were thinking, you know, honestly, honestly. So I suppose it builds character. If you've got a name like that, you've got to build character. But he's been on hard times at the moment. So obviously it might have messed him up a bit, sort of, you know, some people, uh, you know, if they get bullied, they uh, can rise above it and they can sort themselves out and it makes a character out of them. And other people just like um, fade away and just just have, have problems and stuff. So anyway, anyway, oh, I think someone's coming.